Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Marilyn. Now I am so excited to bring this video to you. I've been waiting on a package to show up from Condé Systems. They sell sublimation blanks through dietrans.com and it's finally here. It's been sitting in a town 15 miles from here for four days and UPS just delivered it. Now what's funny is they delivered it while I was watching a YouTube video that Condé Systems was putting on about their upcoming open house. Now they're doing a virtual open house this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and it is free to register. Also, if you order over $200 of items during these three days, you get this Christmas in July box. Then lastly, they also said if you order over $200 worth of items, you get free shipping. Now they did exclude a few things like large things and some equipment, but I want to order some sublimation tumblers. So I can order over $200 worth of those, get free shipping, and they probably won't send me another box, but if you order, you get a free Christmas in July box. So let's see what's in this box. Okay, so this is some type of insulated coffee mug, it looks like. Oh, <laughs> this is probably the lid that goes with it. Okay. And then I have a coffee mug, and mine has a yellow handle. I don't know if everyone's would have a yellow handle, but a sublimatable coffee mug. I'm going to see if I can sublimate on the handle itself. Now this, hopefully, is a big skinny tumbler. Oh, just as good. It is a water bottle or a drink bottle with a removable lid. And you could put your long straw down into that or drink right out of it. That's very nice. Now on the YouTube video, they said that this box was valued at about $200. Okay. Oh, that's nice. A car tag. And that's a metal car tag. You can sublimate on that. Okay, I found some information and it includes the list. So if you get one of these Christmas in July boxes, you'll have the list. And I assume that's the item number. The nice thing about their website is if you look up the item number, it gives you a visual diagram of how you layer things and it gives you specific instructions. Okay, so back to this one. This is called a stainless steel hugger, and it is for slim size 12 ounce cans. So you put your can right down in there. Okay, so I have a garden flag here. That's exciting. I've never done a garden flag, so I'm looking forward to that. I assume you could do it this way or this way because some people's hangers, you hang it straight down and some you hang it like a flag. And then this is a really nice pillow cover. Has a zipper, super high quality, and that's a really cute color of green. I don't know what that's going to show up like in the video because it looks pretty glaring. Let me turn down the light. Okay, that's probably a lot better. That's pretty, and it, and it seems like such high quality. Okay, so this might have been used for packing or protective material. I'll try to sublimate on it, see if that works. Or they also sell a fabric 
that they recommend that you use over certain sublimation blanks. Possibly it's that. I'll have to look into that. This is packed full of goodies, guys. Ah. Okay, so this is a letter. It's the letter E. And I've seen a couple of other people, they got different letters as well. So I think it's just random luck of the draw and what letter you get. I'll figure out something to do with this. This has almost a cardboard slash felt feel. So there's a little bit of a texture to it. And a mouse pad. This is a really thick mouse pad. A little drawstring bag. That could come in handy. That would be really nice for a gift. You could package a gift in this and put something personal on it. Now this is a zipper pouch. This, the bag I just showed, and the pillow cover, that green pillow cover. They are very nice fabric. Like I said, it's kind of a canvas or linen type look and feel. Some sublimatable face masks, and there's 10 in this package. Now I looked up and I noticed that my camera stopped because I ran out of storage space. So I think I got through the face masks. If not, you get 10 sublimatable face masks. And then there's this Christmas ornament. That's a cute shape. And a rectangle Christmas ornament. Now this one's metal. And this one, it's, it's a little thicker. It's very hard. It's nice quality, but I'm not sure what it's made out of. Oh, that is very interesting. So this is a wood grain ornament, but it has a coating on it. It's very, very smooth. Almost feels kind of like a plastic coating. I guess it's a poly coating, so you can sublimate on it. That is going to be fun. And then they give you the ribbons for each of your ornaments. Okay, so another metal Christmas ornament in the shape of a star. And then one more really cute shaped ornament. Oh, one more. Oh, I need one of these. Okay, so this is something you can put down in a cup holder in your car so that the liquid doesn't get all over your cup holder. It's cork on the bottom, so the liquid I would assume will absorb into that, and then you put a sublimation image on the top. The little divot here is so you can pick it up out of your cup holder. So one more huge bag in here. Oh, I see something really nice in here. And that is this photo slate. I have a couple of these. They are super. They're very heavy, really nice quality. So this is a piece of slate that has been coated with something that you can sublimate on. That is very nice. I like that. Now this is, looks like it's about four inches by four inches, and it's like a ceramic tile or a porcelain tile, and then it's coated so you can sublimate on that. Okay, so a coaster with cork on the bottom. And then a foam case with the sublimation blank that you attach to it. So you put your image on there, now there's a film on there. A lot of things has a film on them. You have to make sure you get those off. So you sublimate on that, and then you pull off this piece of paper. That exposes your adhesive, and then you put it down. Now, I'm not sure what phone this works for. Let's see if it says on the list. Okay, the list says that at least the one I got is for an iPhone 7 or 8. So I have to see what my kids and my husband have. I don't have an iPhone, 
but I'm sure I can find someone to use that. Okay, looks like this kind of got dislodged <laughs> in the heat. Oh, okay, you put that on when you're done, I guess, because, yes, so this exposes the adhesive. So let me fix that a little bit. And then you have a coaster, and then you have cork for the bottom, and then this is another coaster. So you sublimate it, then you can add on your cork. Oh, those are cute. These are just little linen look coasters, so they're fabric. But that could be really pretty sitting under something or while you're eating just to protect your table while you're eating and then of course dry it up right afterwards. Those are very nice. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so what this is is it's a little gripper, so a jar gripper. So if you have any issues with opening jars, you can sublimate something cute on the top and then it has a gripper on the bottom. I have something in mind for that. So I'll do that video pretty soon. Okay, a cozy or koozy, however you say it, but this one is nice. It has really nice black trim. This is some more of that linen or canvas look material. It's very thick. Well, here's your typical neoprene one, and even this one. This is thicker than what I've gotten off of Amazon. Just a few more things. Okay, this says this is a pet collar. That is cute, and I got a size min and I got a size medium. Okay, this is like one of those neck gaiters, so that could be fun. And that looks like there's a little jewelry type stuff in here. I think it says this is a luggage tag. Really, you could use any of those ornaments for a luggage tag or anything you want. But I think this one said it was a luggage tag. And then this is a little heart. It has the look of like an ivory stone, I think is what it'd be called. Let me see if I can get it out and show you the details. Well, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it has kind of veins or lines running through it, and it really looks kind of like ivory. And then there's a round one also. It has the same look and feel. A little dog tag. And then one more of the ones that looks like ivory. And then you get chains for those three ivory looking charms. I guess you'd call them charms. So this is a lot of fun stuff to play with. Thank you so much to Condi for sending this to me. So go to Condi's website, dietrans.com, check out all the details for Christmas in July and the free three-day open house with all kinds of classes. Some of the classes they said they'll have are on white toner printers, white toner transfers, wide format sublimation printing. They're going to have some vendor classes such as Artistry will be there and a whole lot of other things including sublimation trends. Now the list of classes is on their website. They also said that if you can't watch these live, they will be adding the classes to their YouTube channel within a few weeks. But the big, big news was during these three days, July 8th, 9th, and 10th, if you order at least $200 in merchandise, you will get a free Christmas in July box, and most things will qualify for free shipping. There were just a few things that didn't. So if you don't have an account yet, jump on so you can get your account before this starts. Take advantage of those classes, and if you need some materials, order your $200 worth and get your own Christmas in July box. Thanks so much for spending time with me today. I'll be doing some of these over the next couple of weeks. Until then, bye-bye.